Today we are building a four foot tall marquee number six. Check it out. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working on the marquee number six. These numbers that I make are roughly uh, 48 inches tall, a little over 48 inches tall with the frame and the base, and then they're just a little bit over 38 inches again with the frame. I start here by getting all my dimensions laid out. I first score my line there on the right, which is my 30 inch width, and then I just start working on the layout from there. All of my sections of every number that I do are 10 inches wide. I find that to be a good width symmetrically for this size of numbers so it works out pretty good once i get all of those measurements down i get everything drawn out and then from there i cut the corners as well so any part of a number that's supposed to be round i take my square cut a 45 on each of those corners And then once I get all that laid out, I pull my Craig track out and I start cutting. There are various ways that you can do this process. I know some people use a jigsaw. I prefer to use my skill saw on all of the cuts that I can. I'll come in and I'll finish off a, small of the, a couple of the smaller areas with a jigsaw. But I find this to give me straighter cuts so then when I'm attaching my frame I have minimal gaps um, that need any sort of filling which we will get to later and here I am with my jigsaw just cutting those little corners that obviously the skill saw could not cut out all the way and then once I get that done I move on to getting the holes lined out for all of the lights so as I have here, I don't have any specific math, special math that I do to figure this out. All of my numbers, the spacing ends up roughly being around five and a half inches to maybe six and three quarters inches. I do try to go around and make it all symmetrical. Again, I like them to be as precise as I can. Now that I've got all those cut, I'm gonna start cutting all the pieces for the frame. And by the way, all these numbers that I make are three quarters of an inch uh, in thickness. I use a, a sheet of three quarter inch plywood for the full construction of these marquee numbers. And here I am, I cut one section at a time. I fit to cut. I don't go off any measurements here because uh, again I'm freehand cutting the number out so anything can be off. So I cut a piece, fit a piece, cut a piece, fit a piece and that's the process for the entire frame. Once I'm done I glue. I use my 18 gauge brad nail to secure it all down. And then once this is all glued up, there will be a few sections where it's hard to get a nail gun into, so I'll put some clamps on to help secure those pieces while the glue dries. Then I go around and I have wood filler that I mix with some water so I can get it in a little bottle there and I'll go around and fill all the gaps. Get everything nice and sealed just so it looks better so when we get to this part, the paint. So I go through, roll on a couple coats of paint, and again by filling all those cracks, once it's all painted, it, it all looks nice and smooth. Now I can start installing the lights. These are 20 count bulbs. I go around, I set them in place, and then hot glue them. And then once I get all the hot glue, once all the hot glue is set, all the bulbs are in, I'll go around with some zip ties, some little mini zip ties. I like to secure the wires down. 
and then once that is all done there then we can start attaching the base so from here I did make one mistake I painted the base separate um, from the number and I forgot to leave a bare spot where it's gonna get glued and screwed to the number so I had to sand down that paint there so if you're gonna make one of these I would actually just attach the base first and then paint it <clears throat> once that is on get it screwed in I'll put all the bulbs in test them out and then you'll end up with the final product here